guys, it is currently um, Monday, August the 7th um, of Tome Chapel and I am just starting my vlog now because it is like three days into the readathon but I wasn't really sure if I was going to vlog um, and then I decided that I might do it just do like updates maybe every few days instead of every day like Booktubeathon as it is a um, two week uh, readathon and I am reading bigger books so I'm probably not finishing them as quickly either so um, I think that's what I'm going to do so as I said it is Monday so it's been three days in I haven't finished anything for Tome Topple yet um, but I am almost halfway through um, Thief's Magic by Trudy Canavan I have the the dust jacket off at the moment um, which I never usually do I normally always keep the dust jackets on I actually didn't even know you were supposed to take them off um, until I started booktube um, but recently the last few hardbacks I've had or books that I've been reading that have dust jackets I've actually taken the dust jackets off because I didn't want the dust jackets to get damaged so yes yeah, so that is a new thing I'm doing um, and yes yeah, so I'm going to I'm on my lunch break now and um, it's a bank holiday today in Ireland so um, I can work from home I am working but I can work from home so it's really handy and um, so I have an hour's break now so I'm just going to sit out in the garden it's a really nice day today it was lashing rain yesterday and um, so I stuck in all day yesterday and um, so for now um, on my lunch break I'm going to sit down and read and um, I think I'm going to mostly read Thieves Magic I'll maybe read a little bit of Alec Renina I don't know I'm 60 pages into it and that is that is so far being a mix of reading some chapters and listening to others but that is something I'm going to take very slowly that I'm going to try and read over the next two weeks um, and I probably won't even finish it by then because it, it is a very very long book um, so I will see how that goes. Um, so yeah, it's just me and the dogs chilling in the garden. Um, so yeah, this this vlog will probably end up being a lot of dogs again, like my booktubeathon vlog. But I don't mind so much um, because my dogs are very much in my life all the time. So it is natural that they will be in my vlogs a lot. Um, so yeah, Luna. Luna likes to try and steal my tea. She loves tea. Don't you? Hello. Okay, so I'm going to um, begin reading. I'm like halfway through Thieves Magic. Um, I am really enjoying it so far, but um, I'm finding it a bit odd that there's like two two character POVs in it. There is Tyen who finds this book, which is like a sentient being. He's in like this world where he's basically like a sorcerer archaeologist. Um, he's training. He's in a school, and he finds this book on this um expedition he's on, and the book is like a sentient being and. It can cut talk to him and then all these things happen he ends up having to go in the run with this book um and i really really like that but then there's this other pov of a girl called rael and she's living in this world seemingly this other world i don't think she's in tyan's world um or at least very very far away from where tyan is living where in her world the people who have magic are priests and they think that the magic comes from these powerful beings called the angels so like these godlike beings and anyone else who can learn magic um, is stealing from the angels so it's like a, it's a sin to learn magic if you're not a priest and you haven't been blessed by the angels so she's living in this society and she ends up falling in love with this painter who is like a, below her basically her family status and who she should be with um, and that's causing her a lot of trouble and like both stories are really really good but they're both so disconnected from each other the only connection they have is that there's magic in both worlds so I find it really odd. It's like I'm reading two completely separate stories and they haven't come together yet. And I don't know. I feel like it might not happen until the very, very end. So we will see. I don't know. Um, I'm intrigued to find out. But right now I'm just a little bit confused as to what is going to happen. Luna. Look at all that hair falling off you. Hi guys, it is Thursday afternoon and um, I have since finished Thief's Magic by Trudy Canavan since the last time I talked to you. Um, I gave it 3.5 stars just because, as I said, it did feel like I was reading two separate stories for a lot of it. Um, and while I liked the stories individually, it just, I don't know, it just seemed a bit strange that they weren't connecting at all until the very, very end when there was a small connection. 
um, as I presume there would be. Um, but I did like this, like like the general story of both sides of Riel and of Tyen, um, and I am eager to see what happens next. Um, and I'm definitely going to go and read the next book, um, which I can't remember the name of it right now, but um, I will read it eventually. So I'm just about to have my brunch, I guess, even though it's like three o'clock and um, I haven't eaten anything yet today. Um, but I have been listening to Anna Karenina um, on audiobook but I haven't gotten too far in I'm still like I'm just a few chapters short of finishing the first part of it um, but I have been really really enjoying that I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. I have learned not to um, listen to it too much when I'm about to fall asleep because I do kind of drift off a bit and then I feel like I'm missing this story um, but I do have the book as well so I'm able to if I'm not if I feel like I've missed any from the audiobook, I can scan through the chapter and then see. Because the chapters aren't too long, actually. There's just a lot of them. Um, and I can see where I am. And if I need to catch up on anything, if there's anything I missed, um, I can check it from there. Um, so, yeah. So, after this, I'm just watching a bit of Netflix right now while I'm eating. Um, I'm watching American Horror Story, Coven. And I'm really enjoying it, actually. Um, I'm a bit of a scaredy cat, but for some reason, I really want to watch American Horror Story, even though it can be a bit scary now and again. Um, so, I'm going to watch this and eat this and then I'm going to go up to the library because I need to bring back a book and I also want to go up and try and get a graf graphic novel um, to read so I'll try and vlog a little bit of that and they have been announcing the um, the authors that are going to be at DEPCON um, in October so that's kind of like it's a little bit like a YA author event um, in Dublin it's like a big two-day event um, and it's really good it was really good last year um, and they have been announcing who's going to be at it this year and so far a lot of them I haven't read any of their books. Um, Holly Bourne is coming back and I do have her first book of her Spinster Club series but I haven't actually read that yet. Um, who else is going back? Uh, Catherine Doyle is going to be there um, and she actually is someone I want to read. I want to read her, her um, I don't know what her uh, Vendetta series I think it's called. I'm not sure if that has a, an actual name but I do kind of want to read that. Um, but yeah, they are, there are a few like interesting authors, they're just, there's just not loads that I've actually read, so I'm a bit like, oh, at the moment. Um, there's not really anyone too big either, um, which I'm surprised at. Like last year, they had like, um, they had Lainey Taylor last year, they had Debbie David Levithan, they had Sarah, I'm not Sarah, friend, they had Sarah Mass, <laughs> um, and they're like really big names, I feel. So they haven't, they don't have anyone too big this year so I don't know if they're just waiting to announce the bigger ones maybe a little bit later on today but I don't know right now I'm just a bit like meh about like who they have out so we will see. Hey guys, so I am just um, on my home from work and I'm just going to the train and I just wanted to really quickly talk about Lord of Shadows, which I started last night and oh my god, I'm like already obsessed with it. Um, so I did get to listen to a good bit of Anna Karenina uh, last night and, or not last night, but yesterday while I was doing my shopping and stuff and I think I got to, I think it was uh, part two, chapter ten. Um, so that's about like 140 pages in so I still have a lot to go but I made a good enough progress I'm pretty happy with it and then, as I said I'm enjoying it anyway so that's okay and then I am now reading For the Shadows which I started last night and I'm really really enjoying it um, I was kind of happy with how quickly I was able to get back into the world um, like it didn't take me only took me maybe like a few pages to kind of remember things that had happened if I didn't remember things that had happened they did come back to me after like another few pages so that was fine and uh, yeah so I think I'm on chapter six maybe and um, because I read a little bit as well when I was on the train in this morning and oh my god I just I just want to go home and read it all right now because I just want to know what happens I'm so nervous I'm just on my way home now and then I'm going to um, I'm going up to my grand's later, so I won't be able to read until later tonight. We're reading on the train home, and then I'll be reading later tonight. And I need to go and get... It's my grand's birthday today, so I want to go and get some kind of cake or something for her. 
Um, I think I might get some donuts because uh, my granddad loves a bit of a sweet treat as well. So I think I might go and get some donuts for them because there's a donut place like, right beside the train station. So it does all those like, kind of real fancy donuts. So I think I'm going to get them. And yes, and then I have to finish off a buddy read later tonight with Kirsty over Kirsty's reviews. Um, though that's not part of Tome Toffle, but I'm really looking forward to reading the last bit of that as well. So yeah, so it should be a good evening. Um, so I'll update you guys maybe later or tomorrow or something how far I got on, and I was checking with you then. I am just waiting for the train. It is Sunday morning, and um, I. I'm going to the horse show, um, it's like the Dublin horse show that's on every year, so I'm going to go with it with a couple of friends, uh, I'm really excited, so I might try and get a few clips and I'll throw them in after this clip um, if you're interested, um, but yes, I want to talk about the books I'm reading, and I am just over halfway through Lord of Shadows now, I'm absolutely loving it, um, I have it with me in my bag, and <laughs> as good excuse to have a backpack is when you have a 700 page book, because I'm the kind of crazy person that decides to bring 700 page books with me around all day. Um, I do have a smaller book with me, I couldn't decide which one I wanted to read, so I um, have both of them, um, though I think I'll probably end up reading Lord of Shadows. Um, later on tonight I think I'm going to start on The Passage by Justin Cronin, which wasn't in my TBR, but I'm now reading that with um, Buddy reading it with Sam over at Sam's Nonsense, and it's a book I've been wanting to read for ages, so I'm really happy to be reading that with her. Um, so that should be good, that should be kind of scary and it's a little bit different to what I normally read so I'm really really looking forward to that so I'm probably going to read, try and read about five chapters of that tonight might end up reading a little bit less, I don't know and obviously when I'm going around today um, when I'm walking to and from the train and stuff I will be listening to Anna Karenina on my audiobook um, I haven't read as much that much of that yet um, like since the last time I talked to you so I do need to kind of catch up on a few chapters of that um, so, yes.
guys it is Tuesday afternoon I'm just out on a walk with the dogs Um, I'm just home from work and I just went straight out um, with the dogs because they needed a walk and yeah so I finished Lord of Shadows last night and it was emotional Um, it was really really good though I really really enjoyed it and it was obviously a five out of five stars I just thought that so much that happened and it was just I was just I was hooked for to write the whole book and that's what I want with my books and I just feel like a lot of the stuff that happened with a lot of characters a lot of stuff that was revealed around but a lot of the characters was done really really well and um, I think Cassandra Clare's writing is probably the best it's been in this book um, and I just thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it and <clears throat> I can't believe I have to wait so long for the next book so still listening to Anna Karenina um, I'm almost at the end of the second part and um, I was gonna listen to it out in a walk but today but um, I think I just I was listening to a little bit on the train home and I was a, got a little bit tired of it I think there's only so much of it that you can um, that you can read or that you can listen to I was listening to it a little bit yesterday as well when I was out with dogs again and um, I had a really nice day yesterday and it was like it was nothing in particular that happened it was just like it was just kind of a nice easy day in work and then I went home and it was absolutely lashing rain and um, but the dogs really need to be walked because I hadn't got a chance to walk them uh, during the weekend so I just put my raincoat out raincoat on and I brought them to a park uh, near my house I put them in the car and um, kind of annoying having three dogs is that you can't really walk places close if you have to walk beside a main road because it's just like it's just not feasible with three dogs um because they can go everywhere and it's dangerous so it tends to be kind of one of those lazy ones where you put them in the car to go five minutes up the road and um, that's what happened anyway but yeah we went out to the park we stayed there for a while and it was just really really nice there was like oh, they're shaking the water off there's no one else in the park because the weather was so bad so we had like the entire park to ourselves i was able to go into the playground i went on the swings for a while just because like i could because there was no one else there um, and then I also got a little bit distracted then but there was like horses in the field beside the park so um, I was petting them and then they were like showing off and like play fighting with each other it was really funny and the dogs did not know what to do with that and yeah it was just one of those really nice days and I went home and I finished off Lord of Shadows and I got to watch Game of Thrones and yeah so it was just it was just one of those like really nice days where nothing actually happened it just was really pleasant um, so yeah I just felt like I needed to share that um, so I don't think there's only two days left now of the readathon um, and I do not think that I am going to get anything else finished to be honest because I still have a lot to go with Anna Karen and I'm not going to be finishing that anytime soon um, I have started the passage by Justin Cronin um, and I'm buddy reading that with oh. I'm buddy reading that with Sam um, over at Sam's Nonsense but I'm literally only two chapters two chapters into that right now so I don't think unless I like read that a lot over the next two days I don't think I'm gonna get that finished and I'm out all day tomorrow because I'm going to go and see the Adams Family with my friends um, in the Borgosh Theatre in Dublin which Carrie Hope Fletcher is starring in so I'm well, I'm actually really excited to see her um, to see her on stage uh, finally because um, I've been watching her YouTube channel for a very long time so uh, well not a very long time like three years what? 